Hello, my name's Stuart Levitt, wheel alignment specialist for Snap-on Equipment. What we're going to do today is look at wheel alignment on modern vehicles. Let's start by looking at the basics of alignment. The angles to be considered in four-wheel alignment are caster, camber, front and rear tail, all important thrust angle. But before we carry on, do an alignment, we do need to check the condition of the vehicle and make sure that steering and suspension components are in good serviceable order along with tyre tread depth and tyre pressures. Perhaps the most important aspect of alignment today is to ensure that we have a straight steering wheel on completion. Failure to do this will cause a problem with steering wheel angle sensors and electronic steering programmes. The best way to achieve a straight steering wheel is to utilise a system which can simultaneously measure the front and rear axles of the vehicle. Next we'll look at the process of four-wheel alignment. It's important that we have a level surface to work on and also the provision of quality ball bearing templates is essential. We begin the process by attaching a sensor or in this case a target to the wheels of the vehicle. Our next step is to select the vehicle data from within the software. Select the vehicle manufacturer, year, model, derivative and suspension type. As you can see here, we now have information on vehicle loading and what that load should achieve before we commence an alignment. Now we can view the specifications for the vehicle, usually provided by the vehicle manufacturer. Also indications here of adjustment points on the vehicle. Next we'll carry out a run out compensation. This will eliminate any error that may be found within the wheel rim or the clamping mechanism. To, be honest. to perform the run out compensation, we'll roll the vehicle back a set distance and then return to the start point. And at this point we've now acquired the camber, the front rear toe and thrust angle of the vehicle. Having acquired the measured data, it's clear to see here that looking at the rear axle, we're looking at the rear cambers, which are out of the specification, the rear toes, which are also out, and indeed the thrust angle indicating that adjustment of all these angles is required. This screen indicates the condition of the front axle. Here we have the front casters, which are in spec. We have the, the cambers, the left one being slightly out. And although the total toe is correct, we do need an adjustment to the right hand to keep the steering wheel straight. This concludes our presentation and I trust we have demonstrated the need for accurate measurement on modern cars. Additionally, our PC alignment can simplify both the measurement and adjustment procedures. Thank you for watching.